Hello, and welcome to Leon's Lockpad. Welcome to Stock Lock Sunday. Um, today, we are going to pick, or attempt to, a Squire Power Lock. Uh, Solace Deal, made in Britain. Um, this lock, just give me one second, let me just get his camera down a minute. There we go. This lock, um, there was another one from uh, Ben Jack's Fired that sent me. Um, I was having a good nosy at this. There's the keyway. I was thinking uh, this is just going to be a, a picked one. Non removable cord, but I went and got some information about this lock, and yes, it is remo has a removable cord. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, it was really hard to find any information on this lock. Um, there's lots of Squire ones, uh, waterproof ones, that are practically the same, but they have a closed shackle and a hardened steel shackle. This one doesn't. And what the information I've been getting is they use these on uh, in England on, uh, you know, they get the big sub power stations. Now, not the gates or anything. They use the shackled ones, uh, closed shackled ones, these with the hardened shackles so you can't get through them. I think these are used for our big main junction boxes inside the place itself because if you look at the, sh the shackle, it's not a hardened steel shackle. This will be able to cut through. So this is probably one of those where in case they need to get off quickly. Um, they can cut through it, um, but to get the, sh the uh, casing off, I'll show you that. Let me show you the bitting. There we go. Um, if you look, there's a little silver pin there. If I push this pin and then pull the case, there we go. As you can see, it separates. And I have to just be careful because the spring and the little pin that holds the rubber casing flicks off. So I'll put that there. We'll drop out the spring but as you can see this is the lock itself without the rubber casing um solid steel got a magnet somewhere there we go uh yeah so there's your rubber casing plastic on the inside but rubber coated on the outside that'd be for your waterproofing but um this is a, a lump of a lock it's really heavy but hopefully we can get it picked and we can get it gutted. And I'll show you why I didn't think I could gut it and then, until I got some information on it. And uh, it seems to have, uh, I know what it is now. Also, uh, I'm going to have to see, I can't put this in the vise because of this top trim. So I have to put the shackle in the vise and tighten the shackle up really tight to stop it moving down. There we go. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, a bit hard for you to see that. Let me drop it down a bit more. There we go. I'm going to use something I've not used for quite a long time. It's one of uh, Dark Art Lock Picking Tension Wrenches that he made a set of three for me. Because um, this is really awkward to get into where it is. It's a very uh, small keyway. But I needed something that's going to fit in the bottom. And we're going to use a short hook. Um, also, I'd like to say, uh, I am trying to catch up on as many videos as I can. Just been really, really busy. And as we know, Sunday is the, the most mental day for videos. As there is that many being put up. But uh, once I've picked this and put this video up which is round about we are now on two o'clock on sunday i'm going to sit down with a cup of coffee and I tend to start getting some videos done while i've got some the kids are out of the house and i've got a bit of peace yeah so um yeah look for information for this lock and there's all Lots of different square weather ones, but the one with the open shackle, it's really hard. Oh, we got it, we got it. There we go, we're open. Um, quite hard to find information on this one compared to the other ones. All right, let's get this camera down. So, as I found out when I looked in there, it looked like it was a rounded off screw, but it's not. It's got an Allen key. And a pretty big one as well at that. So, uh, let me, I do, do, no, we don't want to be zoomed in on there. Uh, thank you for uh, the more subscribers. I'll tell you what was funny though, when I put the um, video up on my birthday, 
I lost three on my birthday. Oh, okay. Fine. Thank you very much for leaving on, on my birthday, you know. <laughs> um, and here's the core. Right. I don't know how we're going to get this. I've never stripped this lot before, not picked it before, so I don't know what's going to happen with it when I pull it apart. Well, there's the actuator. So we'll leave that there. Don't want to accidentally knock it. I mean, it looks like we have a black clip holding this together. Will we have a key so we can lock it back up? Let's take this casing off. Put that there. It's quite greasy, that. This is very, very reminiscent of a an American core. But this is more like one of those cheap cores. Hmm. Let's see what we've got. Right, clearly see that this is going to be uh, awkward to gut. Oh, do you know what? There's one way of doing it so we don't ruin it. Let's stick a shim in there. That will hopefully save me a load of grief. And that's if we can even get it in there. Just pause. There we go, we've got it in. Hopefully we can not stop it from ruining it. There we go, we have done it all the way through, sweet. As you can see, nearly everything needed picking. This has been uh, oiled up, because the oil is very sticky. Five pin. Number five being awkward, there we go, we're out. Let's see what's going on inside here. So we have a standard in one, standard in two, standard in three, standard in four, and standard in five. Now, to be honest, I know this is rated at, um, yeah, this is exactly the same as the American locks. These, this is rated at ten security. Uh, the close shackle ones are rated at twelve. Um, personally, though, I think with this, it's the toughness of the lock that's rated. Definitely not the pins because they're just all standard. So I'll show you. There, put that one straight. There you go. Yeah, they're just standard pins, no serrations, no spills or anything. That this lock could benefit with a a few security pins at least for such a tough lock. But um, yeah, um, it was actually quite a uh, fun lock to pick. It was a very quick and easy lock to pick, like I say. So shows how uh, you know they have all that toughness, but that toughness is completely pointless. Um, if it's not working right. Um, but yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. And bye. Don't forget to like.